Welcome to Dodgers Daily. I'm Casey Porter. I'm so glad that you decided to tune in. We are downtown Wichita, hoping that the thunderstorms stay away from us. They're just ahead of us, if you see in the background. But, hey, joined by a very special guest, Cody Hosey, third baseman in the Dodgers organization, 2019 first-round draft pick. So, hey, Cody, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for, for having me. Okay, let's take you back to your younger days. Jacob Candleberry, I know he's not a teammate anymore of yours yeah. here at Double A Tulsa, but you guys got to play a lot of summer baseball, and when you're, I can only imagine how good of a team you guys have. Yeah, and uh, summer ball back in the high school days, we were teammates, um, and actually we were both committed to Tulane. Okay. Yeah, so we both went on our official visit there, and then uh, he ended up deciding to go a different route. But Mizzou, yeah. Yeah, he went to Mizzou, and then, uh, yeah, we were teammates growing up playing summer ball we had some really good teams i think the team we were on like everyone was committed to some d1 college but yeah it was good, good okay so you mentioned college and being committed yep. to tulane okay so griffith indiana yeah tulane which is in new orleans how in the world yeah. did that connection come about so it was during summer ball too i got recruited we were at one of those like perfect game tournaments down in georgia and um some of the tulane coaches saw me and I actually didn't even know what Tulane was being from and from the Midwest. Uh, I took a visit down there and fell in love with the school, the the coaches, and unfortunately when I got there, the coaches had left and went to Texas. So I got new coaches in, but fell in love with them guys too, so yeah. it was a good fit. So what was it like being a first round draft pick? That'd be awesome. Yeah, it was, I don't know, it was everything I wanted more, you yeah. know? Kind of speechless at the moment, or at the time, and uh, yeah, it was just an awesome feeling. So you get drafted in 2019. You have a great season. You get your, your yeah. career off to a great start. Then 2020 cancels the minor league season. Right. 2021, you have the oblique. Last year, you got really hot, and you had the injury as well. Yeah. You've had the hamstring this year. So a little bit snake bit, maybe? Yeah. I think, um, you know, the health and trying to play every day and, you know, just playing every day, you, you get hot at some point, and getting hurt, you know, it really – really pushes you back so i'm um, just trying to stay on the field as much as i can at this point and uh, just be as, being as consistent as possible do you have any memories of your two walk-offs within the last within a week of each other last year those are awesome oh yeah the one in uh actually the one in uh last year was i think it was the day before memorial yeah. day yeah and uh that was a good game it was a high intensity game uh yeah we had it was a little chirping going on with the other team too so it was good to get a walk off there do you remember the play when James Outman into the game and he caught the ball in right field and threw it all the yeah. way to you at third base? You tagged well, I Was that at the beginning of last year? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was here too. Yeah, that was a. Yeah, it was. It ended the game. I think it was the opening series last year. Is that year. the most amazing thing you've ever seen on a baseball field or that one of? That was pretty up? crazy. That was one of the craziest uh, walk off on defenses, yeah. I guess you could say. Yeah. yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was amazing. Okay, so, all right, right now, obviously, we talked about the even keel. So, yeah. you know, how has that helped you? Where did you develop that even mm -hmm. keel? Obviously, it works great in the game. Yeah, baseball. that's that's just always been my personality with anything, just in life too. Um, and even going to college, you know, it's just our coaches really preached of you don't want to be too high yep. or too low. You know, you just want to kind of stay right in the middle. You know, and um, just I've always had that personality. And I yeah. just kind of took it over into the baseball world. So, what things do you think you do well enough right now to be a consistent major leaguer? What things do you think you still need to work on? I mean, there's always stuff to work on, even though you're a major leaguer and stuff. But, uh, you know, I think for me, it's just being consistent as possible, like you said, uh, staying on the field and then, you know, just continuing to work and do the little things. So obviously health would be one of them, but what is the biggest goal for 2023 for you? Um, obviously, it's to reach the major leagues yeah. at this point, you know, um, been around a couple of years now through uh, the Dodgers organization, have a lot of friends up there and, you know, be that's probably the number one goal of this year and just for my career just get up there and stay up there you've gotten to be around henny quite a bit you know you've yeah, been at have. tulsa yep. uh here the last two years so yep. hey man he's awesome isn't he great coach great energy you know um he'll do anything for us you know he's a really great guy okay cody thank you so much I for joining it. yep thank you